Coach Kalani said this was going to be the last uh, scrimmage of fall camp, wrapping up fall camp. What's your analysis of the offense as you now turn toward uh, devoting your time to, to game prep? Uh, we still have a lot of work to do. We're, um, yeah, we're nowhere near ready for a game yet, but um, we'll, we'll be ready when we'll be ready. You know, a week from Saturday, but we're not there yet. We got a lot of work to do. What more? I don't know if you can go into more specifics, but just what what areas do you feel like that work needs to to take place? All areas. Uh, yeah, we're we're um, we're not there yet. Um, just. A lot of things to work on still, and and uh, you know it'd be nice to start focusing on an opponent. But yeah, we're we need it. We need to work in all areas of our offense. Jake, go ahead. Uh, Coach, I understand you guys scrimmaged today. Can you guys give us an assessment of how that went, in your opinion, for the offense? Oh, we did some good things. It was you know back and forth. Um, our scrimmages have been very even all along and um, I wouldn't we weren't tackling to the ground today so it's hard to like it's just hard to know a lot of plays you're just estimating where the ball might be the referees are and that kind of thing and so um, and we held out some good players too so it's um, you know it's, it's not always a accurate representation maybe of where we might be but I thought we did some good things we did some other things not so well um, Things we got to work on, and but we're making progress, and we're going to be good on offense. If you could name your chief concern, I guess you're over a week out from the game, but what what would be your chief concern or concerns for your offense getting this close to game time? Um, I don't want to say. Sorry, I, I, I can't say. I just I want to keep working on on our. You know we. We're, we're going to be good. I'm really confident we're going to be really good, but there's some things we got to work on still. And, um, you know, just sorry, just strategic reasons. I don't want to say what those things are. Hey, Coach, you mentioned players being uh, held out of scrimmage today. We know Gunner who have been out of scrimmages the past few times out. Uh, was there anybody else new who was held out for scrimmage today? Um. Can't remember. We we we've been holding out Dallin Holker, but we played him today. He he got some good reps and did some good things. And then we're being really being really careful with Isaac Rex and Mason Wake. Just they're um, proven guys that have played a lot of football for us. So we're trying to get them just the right amount of work to stay sharp, but not overuse them because they're both very physical players during the season and they get beat up. So trying to preserve their health and keep them sharp and. Um, so, you know, those guys are playing a minimal role at times, you know, smaller role than they'll play in the games. Um, and let's see, I think that's it. We just played Chris Brooks just a little bit today. Um, but for the most part, I mean, everyone's available and ready to go. We're just we're trying to trying to get a lot of work done and also be smart about getting to the season as healthy as we can. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, Aaron, I wanted to ask you about Chris Brooks. Uh, you brought him in as a grad transfer. How has he fit in? Uh, you've gone through spring ball with him now and obviously like, through training camp here. How has he fit in and where do you think he's excelled? Um, Chris has been a great addition to our team since the day he got here. Um, very professional. He, he came here with a purpose in mind, learned our offense very quickly, as, as fast as I've ever seen anyone learn it. Um, Guy's all business every day, practices the right way. He's a great teammate. He gives credit to other people. And um, he's, he's a good player. I expect, him to, I expect him to do a lot of good things for us this year. Are there any position groups or, I guess, uh, position battles you still feel like need to be settled? Or have you essentially set out your depth chart at this point? Yeah, there's a lot of battles, and they're ongoing. I mean, the O-line thing is that might be a season-long thing. You know, and, and uh, there's some good players there that, you know, no matter what we do, there's going to be a couple of good guys standing on the sideline and at times and uh, trying to figure out how or if we're going to rotate guys or just play the same five and all that. So there's a lot there to talk about. And um, that battle is ongoing and it will be week to week. You know, you did, 
when you get named a starter at any position, it's not like you just you're declared the starter for 12 games. You got to produce, and um, the guy behind you is going to be pushing you. And so we have those battles at O line, at receiver, at tight end, at, and uh, I would say also at running back. And so it's it's a never never ending process throughout the season. Philosophically, are you opposed to rotating offensive linemen on just on an, in an average year, or are you okay with that if you have to do it? Not not opposed to it at all. I've done it before, and and uh, I actually think there's a lot of merit to it if you have a if you have a good system for it, and you're you know we, all of our guys have played a lot together, so um, there's a lot of continuity there with the different lineups we've had in, in the past year or two. So there's a chance that that we might do that, but. I'm not opposed to it, but I also I like the competition, and I want I would love to just would love it if just five guys were clearly the best five. But if if there's two other guys or one other guy that are on that level, then we'll we'll treat them like they're on that level and find a way to get them some playing time. Any other questions? I've got one more. If nobody else does, uh, Aaron, with regards to Jaron. Uh, He's going into it will be a, a, a third season as a, a guy who started games for a third straight year. I know it's his second, I guess, full year as a starter. Where do you think he has improved the most in this training camp as opposed to previous camps that you've seen him in? Uh, just his overall, um, his overall control of our offense. You know, he's he's capable of doing doing a lot of things uh, pre-snap for us. I mean, he gets. You know, uh, he gets us in the right play very often. Uh, he, did, he did it a lot more last year than, than we had ever done before. Uh, we did more, more audibles a year ago than we've ever done, and um, he gets us in the right plays. And uh, last year, I mean, never said much about this, but like the Utah game last year, that was his second start, and he was checking, he was checking a lot of plays in that game, changing, changing a lot of plays, getting us into the right, right run plays. Um, he does he does a lot of things at the line of scrimmage for us that uh, um, you know give us a chance for success you know so we don't all, don't always have to call the perfect play because Jaron can get us in it and I would say that's the area he's improved the most um, but he's he's improved in all areas and still got work to do. do your last question for Jared. I'll start with a silly one, Aaron. Can you put together a uh, eight lineman package and maybe have Freeland a quarterback just just for the <laughs> fun of it? <laughs> nah. But <laughs> Connor pays a just... Connor pays a better thrower than him anyway. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's put Connor at quarterback. That'd be fun to see anyway. Um, but seriously, about the I wanted to ask about situational stuff. I know you guys do a lot of situational work at, at times and getting ready for games. How have you guys done in, in situational drills? Two minute, um, short, you know, short yardage, some of those things. Red zone. We've done well at times, and there's been other times where our defense has gotten the better of us. You know, I thought today we had uh, we had we put our de our team in some tough situations, our offense in some really tough situations, and and uh, our defense. Man, they're 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 really good. I'm I'm impressed with what's going on over there, and they've made it hard for us. So, you know, it's just you, you try to work on different situations every day, and I think I think we've been a very smart situation football team over the last couple of years. We've been good in two minute, and we've been good in the red zone, we've been good uh, in most areas. Um, but. Man, you you, just, you can never work on it too much. You know, you just there's so many different things that can happen in a game, and it's it's impossible to cover them all. But we try our best. We're trying to put the put the guys in as many difficult situations as we can, and uh, I think we're improving. But we still, like I said, we still have work to do. Awesome. Thanks so much, Coach. Thank you.